Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel for another Trinity Stamps video. Today we are going to be making a glowing moon scene with some of the new images in the brand new silhouette stamp from the newest release for Trinity Stamps. This stamp set is so beautiful and so versatile. You could stamp these in any color to make a really fun a card or like I will today just stamping them in black to make a silhouette card. First we're going to have to create our glowing moon scene. So we're going to be using lots of different Copic colors for this. I'm using BG10, B00, B21, B05, B24, B29, and then finally B39. To begin the scene, what I'm going to do is start by cutting out with an X-Acto knife this snowy hill or bank that I'll be using as the ground for my scene. I want the glowing moon to be right in the center of my scene, as it would be if you were to see a silhouette. They would normally be with the light right behind them. So I'm going to make the light source or the moon right in the center of the scene. So what I want to do is put the snowbank on the card and sort of make this really, really light trace of where I think I want my moon to be. I'm going to go over this with Copic markers, but I do want to let you know that if you put any type of pressure on with that pencil, you're not going to be able to erase the pencil marks after you put the Copic on there. So you have to make sure that that pencil... Uh, mark is so, so super light that you can barely see it. So my first color is going to be BG10. And this, with this, basically, we're just going to make an outline of where the moon is going to be. My moon is actually going to end up being quite a bit smaller than what you see here because of all the blending that's going to go on and how, what it takes in blending to create this glowing moon. So I'm just making a really rough outline here and it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfectly round and it actually looks better if it's a little off, just like how an actual moon glow would appear. I go ahead and speed this up a lot because it does take quite a while. This is not the hardest technique to do, but it is very tedious. You have to keep going back in with that lighter color from before and blending. That really is the name of the game to this technique. So we started with BG10 and then we went in with B00. And once I went around, I did come in a little bit to the BG10. So you always want to overlap a little bit of the previous color and then go back in with that previous color to blend with that darkest color, just as you would if you were shading for a regular Copic coloring. You always want to blend over again with the lighter color just to make sure that you get that really nice cohesive blending look, or at least that's how I achieve my glowing moon. To achieve that sort of radiating look and get the circular feel, I just go in with the previous darkest color and make really, really light, fine sort of circles within its own color and then a little bit into the lightest color as well. And this gives that really cool, like I said, the circular radiating look. I'm now taking a white gel pen once I'm all done and doing some really light white marks around where the moon is. And then as you come out, they get farther and farther apart. And that's how it would be if you were actually to look at the moon glowing. So now that I've got my scene done, I've got um, some silhouettes stamped and cut out here. I did fussy cut these and I left the slightest white border, but if I could have gotten any closer, I would have. Because this is a silhouette card, you don't want too much of a border when you're fussy cutting. You just really want to get right on top of the line. I also could have masked these off so that it was part of the scene, but I was afraid of my alcohol ink in the Copic markers running through the masking, which is why I decided against it. And then I would just cut them out. I went ahead and glued my uh, snow base ground there onto the bottom of the card. And it was hanging off a bit from where I'd like it. So I'm just um, trimming some of that excess that was hanging off. And to add some of the depth and shadow into the snow to make it look as if the uh, moon is reflecting off of the snow. I am using B00 and then BG10 just to blend that out a bit. 
And then I'm going to take my colorless blender and blend this all out. And this gives the snow some really nice, nice depth and doesn't leave it looking perfectly flat, which is not normally how snow is anyway. So now that I've set up my scene, I'm going to go in with my Tombow Mono Multi Glue and I'm going to adhere all of these silhouette pieces to my card front. And I just make sure that I put as little glue as I possibly can. You don't want too much of the glue coming out and spewing out because it could change the color of that Copic marker there. And if you ever had to go in and, and do any retouches at the very end, uh, the glue would not take to the Copic markers, so it would look a little off. For the shadows, I'm going to do direct in front shadows because our light source is directly behind our images. And I'm again using B00, BG10, and then a colorless blender to blend those out as well. And looking back, I think that I probably could have used a cool gray color rather than a blue color for my shadows, but I didn't want it to take over the snow and make it look muddy or murky. So that's why I ended up using the blue or the cool blue shadows. I went ahead and prepped the very top of my card front with a powder tool. And now I'm going to stamp the seasons, greetings, warm holiday wishes from our family to yours. Uh, right on top there of the scene. I also did forget to mention earlier that right after finishing my scene, I, um, or my Copic scene, I went ahead and did some white acrylic paint splatter just to make it look like a little bit of snow. And I forgot to mention that earlier. I'm sorry about that. So I went ahead and decided to use a silver embossing powder. And in hindsight, I really wish that I used white the silver doesn't look as bright as the white would. I was kind of hoping it would become a little bit lighter. It would lo looks really nice when the sun is hitting it, but when it's not, it's a little hard to see that uh, sentiment. I have decided to use a very dark blue uh, 110 pound cardstock for the base. So I cut that at five and a half and scored it at four and a quarter. And now I'm going to use foam tape to adhere this to the card base and the card front I should say is cut to four by five and a quarter so it will show some of that card uh, the card base through thank you so much for stopping by today I hope that you've enjoyed the video this silhouette stamp set is not yet available it will be available at the Trinity shop on uh, November 2nd and that is linked in the description thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you again very soon thanks bye